through a credit card. The quicker your seed enters the soil, the quicker the harvest grows, and you know that. In fact, I have a feeling that somebody watching me right now, I have a feeling that somebody that wants a credit card debt wiped out, that if you'll use your faith as you sow, as you sow the thousand on a credit card, as you use your faith, as you use your faith, God's going to wipe out your credit card indebtedness. I want you to get up and go to the phone. I feel impressed tonight to pray. There's four or five here, maybe more, but there's four or five right here in the studio that I feel impressed to come into a covenant with you on your $1,000 seed. I don't normally do this, but I feel like the moment that we link hands, there's going to be an impartation, a Boaz impartation. As you go to the phone, dial the number that's on the screen, and when you call, mention that you would like your gift copy. The first thousand, I believe there's, I actually believe there's more, but I feel so strong about us. the thousand that obey God the quickest. We're going to rush you a gift copy of The Uncommon Leader, the most incredible book of Encyclopedia on Success you possibly have ever read in your life, especially if you're trying to start your own business. If you have a desire to have your own business, this is the book you've been looking for your whole lifetime. I have 12,000, probably almost 12,000 books in my library. This, this book condenses the greatest teachings in the world, not only in the Bible, but it's an encyclopedia on financial achievement. And I want to sow it as a seed to celebrate your $1,000 seed. I want everyone here to stand. Can I just do as I'm feeling? Is that okay? While you're calling, there at your house. Quickly call, quickly call. The number's on the screen. The address is on the screen. You can even sow, I believe, online. Is that possible? You could literally go to the website, and the website address will be shown, and you can sew online. There are 1,000 watching me right now that something supernatural is going to happen. There's a couple watching me right now that you don't even have the 1,000, but your faith is so high. And there's a couple watching me right now. Let me just say this. One night while I was teaching, the anointing came on me, and I was talking about how I broke the back of poverty with the $1,000 seed. And while I was teaching, the Holy Spirit says, there's somebody watching you involved in a legal lawsuit. Tell them if they'll put on their $1,000 seed that they would like favor for the legal lawsuit to go in their direction, I will honor their $1,000 seed as the authorization to turn the legal battle in their favor. A couple was watching me in Wilmington, Delaware. They were being sued for $80,000. In less than 30 days, if I recall, it was 14 days, but less than 30 days, the people suing them for $80,000 dropped the lawsuit and wrote this couple a check for $40,000. 30 days after their $1,000 suit. Nothing happens till you use your faith. Nothing happens until you use your faith. And nobody can use your faith for you. Nobody can use your faith for you. Nobody was in my ear telling me that I would break the back of poverty at $1,000 seed. The Holy Spirit spoke to me to let go of the thousand. And it opened the windows of heaven on my life. Thank you. Thank you. I just feel like there's four or five here in this room and while they're calling on the phone right there quickly go to the phone and by the way when you call do say I would like to have the gift copy of the uncommon leader say I'm one of the thousand just say I'm one of the thousand and somehow some way even if it's something you have to step out in faith to do you may not even know where the thousands at all you know is that you're supposed to sow it and God said I'll give seed to a sower I want the four or five people here in the room that feel a stirring on this $1,000 seed. Would you quickly move up here and come and stand here? I'm just going to take your hand. I just feel so strongly for an impartation. I feel so strong. This is uh, probably going to be one of the most miraculous things you've ever done in the history of your life. Just come as close as you can. It's a supernatural thing. It's a supernatural thing. I'm going to pray for each one of these coming here, and I want to take my hand and take your hand. The Bible said two are better than one. Two are better than one. And a threefold cord is not easily broken. And 
while Brother David Cirillo comes, and he'll be talking to you there at home about your seed. If you call, and for any reason the phone line is busy, if you'll just punch your redial, or you'll stay persistent, uh, this this is this is a turnaround seed, Brother Cirillo. This is a turn. This is a miraculous seed. This is a miraculous seed. There's somebody that's just there's somebody calling that don't even have the thousand, but they know God's going to give it to them. There's others that know that if you leave it in your briefcase or leave, there, there's people that you may be watching me right now and it's in a, it's in a bank account just sitting there. You think 4% interest is incredible. Try 100%, 100 fold, according to the words of Jesus. As I pray for each one of these, would you come and would you greet and share? I think there's a word God's put in your heart for the people at home. And I want to pray with each one of these. Is that okay? That's fine. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pro se. You know, while Brother Mike is praying here at the altar for the people that are coming forward and exercising their faith, I believe what the Lord is saying to many of you watching is prove me. It takes a step of faith to prove the Lord. It takes a step of obedience to prove the Lord. The whole principle of seed, time, and harvest is a plan I believe God's designed to be able to speak into your future, to be able to speak into your family. You know, there's lots of ways that harvests come in our lives. Harvests don't always come in the form of finances, but Dr. Murdoch's been talking about that tonight. Sometimes harvests come by seeing unsaved loved ones come to Christ. Sometimes harvests come in physical healing. Sometimes harvests come in the restoration of family.